The invasion of Gozo took place in July 1551, and was accomplished by the Ottoman Empire against the island of Gozo, following an unsuccessful attempt to conquer nearby Malta on 18 July 1551. It was followed by a victorious campaign with the Siege of Tripoli. The commander of the Ottoman fleet was Sanam Pasha, accompanied by Salah Reis and Dragut Reis. The Ottomans initially landed on Malta, at Marsam Ksit and a force of 10,000 men marched upon Bergu and Fort Esti Angelo, but they realized that these were too well fortified to be conquered easily. Therefore the Ottomans turned their attention to Mdina, looting and burning the villages on the way. Meanwhile, the knights in Mdina, under the command of Francis Vilganian, asked the people living in the villages to seek refuge in the city and to help defend it. When the Ottomans arrived they discovered a large garrison defending the city so they decided against the plan of attacking the city since they did not want to fight a long siege. Meanwhile, a relief fleet attacked the Ottoman ship anchored at Marsamxit. The Ottoman then decided to attack nearby Gozo, which was under the command of Governor Jalash and Assessor. After a few days of bombardment, Assessor attempted to negotiate with Sinan Pasha, however the latter rejected the terms. A few days later the citadel capitulated. About 300 people escaped from the citadel by climbing down its walls and hid from the Ottomans. The other 6,000 people, including Governor Assessor and the Knights, were taken captive and ended up in slavery, being sailed to Tripoli on 30 July. The Ottomans only spared a monk and forty elderly Gossitans. A street in the citadel named after Bernardo Dupuo. According to legend, one of the defenders named Bernardo Dupuo, also known as Bernardo da Fonte or de Opao, fought bravely when Ottomans breached the city walls, and killed his own wife and two daughters preferring death over slavery before he himself was killed by the invading forces. A street in the citadel is named after him and outside his house lies a plaque commemorating his death. Consequences Since few Christians remained on Gozo, families from Malta were encouraged by the Order of St. John to repopulate the island. However it took about 150 years for the population to reach pre-1551 levels. Following the attack the Order set up a commission made up of Leon Strozzi and Pietro Pardo, who were engineers, to examine the Maltese island's fortifications and then make suggestions for further improvements. The Grand Master, Juan de Meads, increased taxation and strengthened the coastal guards, the Dishma. Following Strozzi and Pardo's commission, Fort St. Michael and Fort St. Elmo were built to better defend the Grand Harbour. Bastions at Medina and Bergu were strengthened, and the fortifications of Sangli were built. The failure to take all of the Maltese islands was also one of the causes of the Great Siege of Malta in 1565. Two other unsuccessful attacks were made on Gozo in 1613 and 1709. Legacy, a reenactment of was made by grade 5 students or San Andrea School in 1997, and a video entitled A Tale of a Gozitan City was released. The students played the roles of Turkish invaders, knights or Maltese peasants and filming was done on the schooner Charlotte Louise. Dinel Art Helwa produced a musical account of the invasion at St. Michael's Bastion in the Citadel on 31 July 2009. This was centered around the legend of Don Bernardo de Opao. In 2013 a memorial to the siege was set up at the gardens of Villa Rundle in Victoria, Gozo.